This is the fox chicken corn paradigm, and this activity is designed to help your children, your students, with critical thinking, thinking outside of the box, flexible thinking along those lines, as well as problem solving, teamwork, and communication. And where the problem solving, teamwork, and communication come in hand is you are going to give them about three to 10 minutes, depending their developmental level, to brainstorm how to solve the problem. Um, you've probably heard of this problem in math class at some point. You have a rooster, a fox, a bag of corn or feed, and a farmer, I guess, a farmer who needs to transport them over across the river on a boat. But you cannot leave the chicken with the fox alone because the fox will eat the chicken and you cannot leave the chicken with the corn feed alone because the chicken will eat the corn feed. And so you'll give your students that background and then let them go to work for that brainstorming period to try and figure it out. Um, for the purposes of this video, we're not gonna film the brainstorming period. We're gonna shoot ahead about three minutes after they brainstorm. So our group has finished their brainstorming. And what I forgot to mention earlier is some students may have done this in the past, like I said, in math class. And what you want to do with that is it ask beforehand, do any students know the answer to this question? And if they know the answer, you're going to politely ask them to take a back seat and take on a follower role and not divulge the answer. And afterwards, you can reflect with them, how did that feel for them to not be able to say the answer, to just kind of have to be a participant? Because that's another skill students can learn from this. So now our counselors are going to enact the activity. So first, I want the boat to take the chicken across so that the fox and corn are left alone and that's okay. Okay, now, let's see, I need to take something else across, but if I take the corn across, then the chicken with the corn, if I, teach, if I take the fox across, then the fox will eat the chicken. So, I don't know, I feel like I have to like choose which one is like better to be eaten. Um, And right here, Madeline's doing an excellent job portraying a child who may get frustrated with the activity. Um, if you notice your students beginning to become frustrated with the activity, what you then want to do is you can give a subtle hint to try and engage them in that critical thinking. So for instance, a subtle hint could be, well, class, I never said that you can't take an, ob an object back and forth or something along those lines to help them realize maybe there's another way to go about this problem. So let's pretend that I just gave Madeline that clue and see what she would do with that. Oh, okay. Um, which one do I want to take? Okay, I'll have the boat take the corn across, but when you get to the other side, pick up the chicken. Don't leave the chicken there. And then when you get back to this side, pick up the fox and leave the chicken. And then pick up the chicken and take it back. And there you have it. 